Hi everyone, welcome back to Star Car Lakes. Uh, this is the first of the 2020 episodes. Um, apologies for the poor light and it's a very, very miserable Thursday uh, in June. Um, so I thought we'd just pop down after work, had a quick sleep in the van, got all my stuff out, get going. Uh, got straight into some little baby tench on the waggler, close in. Uh, there's a little boy now. Come on. So hopefully we'll be amongst loads more of these today. Um, we'll try and get some better footage out there, but the problem is with it being raining and the camera's not waterproof, um, we're liable to get it wet. So I'll have a quick flick around and we'll show you where we're at. So now we just got set up. Uh, we're fishing size 14 hook on some four pound bottom and size six pound main line. We are on a closed face reel, it is a little bit high for a closed face, but it seems to work all right. Uh, I think that's due to the lower diameters now of line these days. Um, a bulk of the shot halfway down to get it past the little buggers at the top end, and straight onto a waggler. Uh, we're fishing about two rod lengths out. Uh, we've plumbed to the bottom at about a metre and a half. Uh, we're fishing corn on the bottom, and I'm loose feeding uh, the Robin Red pellets. We've got minimum stuff out today because it, the rain just keeps driving underneath the brolly. Uh, so we'll get chucked out, uh, I'll give you a zoom in on the float, we'll have a watch and the bike's coming quite regular now so we should be able to see something. So as you can see we're just a couple of rod lengths out there now, we're on the bottom, loose feed, uh, a couple of bits of corn, only scattered over by hand. As you can see, the rain is driving down there. Oh, we're pumped off another one again. I'll paddle up. Uh, beauty of barbless hooks. Just managed to slip it just as it got in the net. It's great. So just so you all see, similar size and shape again. We uh, put these in uh, last year and they must have only been about that big. They were brilliant. Uh, they're running out all the time. Uh, now they are really starting to put some size on. Sorry. So them ones, like I say, we were put in last year, they are only about that big-ish, um, but because people are fishing all the time and feeding and really starting to put some size on now, and they're really showing themselves. Um, anglers, decent anglers, can get 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 of them a day easily, uh, as well as all the other species that are coming out. You've got your uh, your skimmers that are starting to turn colours now, they're coming into the bream colours. Um, as they get a little bit too um, big in numbers, we do sort of move a few around, but. Uh, generally you can get them out in big bashes as well. So I do apologise, uh, let me go back one bit. Um, I'm Shawnee T and this is my channel and if you've never been here to Star Car Lakes before or seen any of my videos, welcome. Um, we generally get on the fishing here at Star Car Lakes. Um, the place is owned by my parents, so I kind of get here semi-regular usually. And we uh, get these filmed and uploaded for you guys to see. So even though the rain is treacherously coming down today, we're going to try and get some decent fish out. Um, even if we stay amongst them small tench all day, I'm perfectly happy at that. 
but we'll try and get some other species out as well. Um, at the moment we're here on the clay pool. Um, when I did set up, I did consider the camera and the direction of the wind and stuff like that, but sod's law, it's all spun around, so it's now on my face and my legs are wet. But I can't be helped, but we are where we are. So I've got a few hours before I get back to work again. So if you are considering coming and seeing us here at Starcar Lakes and come for a fish, um, we're in Bransburton, which is near Hull in East Yorkshire. And also get on the Star Car Facebook page and uh, join the group. It's a closed group, but get joined in um, and see all the action, see all the days coming up that we've got. Um, we are open during the weekend and Wednesdays. So that's Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and bank holiday Mondays. Um, the other days we use for, main, well, I say we, my parents use for maintenance and decorating and tidying up and all that jazz that needs to go on as well behind the scenes that you guys don't get to see. So we're going to get slung back out now, we'll see if we can stay amongst these tench for a little bit longer. Um, see if the skimmer stack is showing themselves as well. Um, they have been the last few days, although maybe a drop in the temperature today um, might just push them back down a bit, but we'll see. Um, usually, if it wasn't raining, I'd be in the margins, probably tucked up tight against the sides of my pole, as most people do nowadays. But due to my laziness and lack of willingness to get absolutely soaking wet for you guys, I've opted for uh, a waggler just out there. So, I'm sorry, but needs must. So as you can see, for windy conditions on a waggler, get the tip just under the water, tighten down onto the waggler until you just see it drop a little bit, uh, and then we'll sit down and wait. turn it. It's another little tench. That's three. So as you can see, lovely little green tench again. another one maybe feel slightly better probably about the same size nonetheless same size just a little bit more lively Silver, okay. Greedy little sod. So because the corn is going in quite regular to keep up with demand, the smaller stamps of silver are right up on the top now. So every time I put a bait in, they're literally snapping it off the top. Nice to catch, but a frustrating when you're trying to get to the bottom. So just spin you around. This is off the top on corn. Look at that for a little baby one. 
beautiful little tench. Completely unexpected, I was slating it, saying it was going to be a silver, snapping my bait off the top, and it wasn't. Probably yet another little tench. Maybe six now. Lovely, safe in the net. So this is number six. There's loads of these little beauties in there. So if you remember back to last year, uh, I did an episode on catching tench on small pole. Uh, we're very close into the edges, and to be fair, it was this pond with a few pigs around. Um, I bet they are the same batch that we put in. So a year later, after they've been eating all the stuff that everyone's been chucking in for them, uh, they've really got their heads down, and they've managed to put on a fair few ounces in that year. So it's very promising the next couple of years we'll have smaller to medium size tench in there just from that batch alone but there's others from previous that were already in there and there'll be new ones going in every year all right i've just got back from dinner um i've just snuck off to my van uh gone had some pack lunch while we baited up a bit let it settle down again um if you're ever looking at this place on youtube or you get yourself on the facebook page you ever think you're gonna make the pilgrimage and come uh not sure what to use it's like many other modern places nowadays, not only you've got your old variety of bits that always work, like your maggots and your casters and your corn, I tend to use a lot of corn, um, but if you also get on the forum, a lot of the regulars there are willing to speak out and tell you what they catch on, but generally, um, as well as the older bits, sorry we're getting wet, uh, you can get yourself amongst the mini boilies, like the fluoro ones, uh, the wafters, um, a lot of the pellets, the robin reds and such like, they all produce a lot of fish. Uh, so we're going to get slung out now again. The wind has just picked up. I thought it just lulled, which was going to be nice, but it hasn't. And the uh, heavens have opened up properly this time. Oh, missed. Uh, slightly better stamp. Uh, so we're going to be about the same, to be fair. There's not much in it. In the net. Yeah, it's a slightly bigger stamp. Probably uh, one from the year before rather than last year's. Keeping it over the net and the mat. So we have another little stamp. Nice fish. But You would not believe what's just come off the top. Literally taken from the top the second it hit the water. And I will show you in a second. Ah, safely in the net. Oh, what a lovely breeze. Lovely bream, taken from the top. Corn had literally just touched the water and something snapped it. Now I expected it to be a small silver again like has been, but a bream. Coming on close to £2 maybe. Well, it looks like We've got a better stamp of fish and I really, really do hope the battery lasts. I was about to put it on charge for a few minutes, but... 
Oh no! Oh, this is a nice surprise. What have we got here? Can you see this? Uh, I haven't had one of these for a little while, and I don't think we've had many on camera to be fair. Look at that. Bars of gold. Lovely, lovely golden tench. First one I've had this year. First one I've had from last year actually as well. Never got one last year either. Just before the uh, battery on the camera runs out. Can drop it back. So yeah, sorry it's been a bit miserable for you today. Um, it's just starting to ease as well now, which is uh, just my luck. I've got to get myself cleaned up, last three quarters of an hour fishing maybe, uh, and then get myself back to work, and then home to edit tomorrow. So until next time, which will be next week, um, I hope you enjoy this. If you do like it, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've not already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, all the support's greatly appreciated. And until next time, tight lines and stay safe. Right guys, so just while we've got a break in the rain, um, I'm gonna nip around the site for some of the new viewers. Uh, for those who haven't seen it before, uh, Stark Hill Lakes here in uh, Bransburton, which is in East Riding near Hull. Uh, first off, we've got a big car park for you guys, so there's no worry about the um, two metre spacing. Uh, behind me, there, just behind the tree. Behind me, there, we've got a log cabin that sleeps eight. So, if you're interested in that, get yourself either on the Facebook page and inquire about it, or we've got um, they can be found at cottages.com. Hold on, stop in the shed. So when you get here, we've got a booking in uh, shed, um, all nicely done out. Uh, I'll just give, spin the camera around and we'll give you a quick run through it. So we've got, when you get here, get your details put down. Uh, there's some envelopes there, stick your money in the box and we empty it daily or multiple times of the day and we'll go around and check. So this is a clear pool here, this is where we've been fishing. We've been around this area here, close to the bridge. Uh, there's some pictures of my dad from from that particular pond. Also, we've got rules and notices. Uh, more notices. Right, this the big pit as you can read. There, one of the larger ones that sits behind the clay pool. That's one of the deeper ones. There's my dad there. That's potentially some sort of kind of catches you can get out there with a decent angler. Again, it's not a once-off. These are happening regular. And then we've got the old trout lake. Again, these uh, no longer has trout in this stock. The same kind of fish is what you'd expect to find in the in the pit now. So it's coming along quite nicely as a, a decent sort of match pond. Uh, some of the pegs are all, every single peg is done kind of to this standard. So you've got a nice stable base there, surrounded by gravel so all your muck's not going to, your gear's not going to get mucked up with the mud. We get sap on the trunk. Girlie only fought you over cause you let him Girl, I guess he didn't know any better Girl, that man didn't show me ever Do all I can just to show you you're special Certain it's your love that holds me together